point, if you're watching this, it's probably no longer live. We're gonna wait a few minutes and let some people get on and I will uh, start working on this lovely cup. Figure out how I see comments. Hi. Hello. We are waiting a few, get a few people on and then we'll get started with the cup reveal and I'll show you what I'm using <clears throat> and if you guys have questions about what I did to the tumbler prior to this um, I will let you guys know all right all right I've got the comments over oh, there okay, okay good I think it pops up over here too hi Karina Again, this is my first live, so I've never done anything like this. So <clears throat> hopefully you guys just bear with me. Um, it's okay to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> so I have my sister here with me because we run a business together. And um, we've never done a live, so we thought we'd just do it together. Um, today I'm going to be um, taking the decals off of this cup that I've already prepped. This is a mermaid geode. And so this will be my reveal. What I did to this cup prior to um, today was I went ahead and spray painted the cup that I wanted to use white um, in a, um, I'm sorry. Yeah, I spray painted, no, I spray painted sea foam because the color underneath for the glitter is sea foam. Um, and then I used a chunky glitter which you'll get to see here in a minute underneath. And I epoxied it until it was really smooth. <clears throat> this is my Feather Bear Sea Glass. I love this stuff. Um, it sells really well too, because it's really shiny under epoxy. So after I did that, I went ahead and <clears throat> spray painted the whole thing flat white. And then I used alcohol inks well, let me back up. Again, this is my first live. I put the decals on first. Yes, I love Heather's glitter. <laughs> we are glitter savages for sure. Um, so I put the decal on after I got it epoxied really smooth over the chunky glitter. Um, and then I spray painted it white. Um, so that you can kind of see the decals here. There's the shell. This is um, kind of like the Little Mermaid type thing. You'll see what it says here when I do the reveal. Um, but after you put your decal, then you spray paint it flat white. Then you go and put your alcohol inks on it in whatever colors you want. And there's really no rhyme or reason, um, you know, ba just based on whatever colors you like. Um, <clears throat> So after I did all that, I wanted it to be pearlized. So I used, can you grab the pearl spray? I used this uh, Mod Podge pearl spray um, to make it with like a pearl sheen. So for today's video, I'm going to be using a set of picks that I got from Hobby Lobby. These are the Alumalite picks. If you don't have these for weeding, I suggest that you try them out because they're really super sharp um, on the end. And, and in fact, you can stab yourself and make yourself bleed, which you probably shouldn't do. So be careful with them. But they're really super uh, sharp. Oh, the tumbler. Um, Lindy's asking where we got the tumbler. This is a um built tumbler in uh it came in rose gold and the reason i used the rose gold one is because it didn't have the um it didn't have the raised logo 
it just has I don't know if you can see that there it goes um, it just has it etched in there so it covers up really nicely most of my other cups um, I use the stainless steel if you want to show that one it has the raised um, has the raised um, logo. logo that's the word <laughs> And um, I get these from Walmart. I got the stainless ones online because they do free shipping over $35. So I just ordered a, a bunch of them at once. The rose gold ones I actually got on a sale on Amazon. <clears throat> so I just um, get whatever I can that's on sale. Um, so check both places. Um, when I ordered from Walmart, the rose gold ones were out of stock um, but a lot of times you can find them in store so here's the tumbler again and the picks that you'll need for this and then to help with this i have a set of tweezers that i got off amazon i think they're probably meant for um they're meant for electronics. Electronics, actually. that's what I was trying to say. The electronics. But um, for today's, I don't want to scar the cup. So I'm going to use the kind of flat ones to just help me peel it off after I use the pick to get it up a little bit. So I'm going to turn the camera to the cup so y'all can start seeing what I'm going to do with that. So let me. Bear with me while I get a good work area here. Okay, I think that's good. <clears throat> Ooh, I don't wanna show you the pretty stuff yet. <laughs> so if you can see here, this is dried. I let it dry really well after every step because when I go to peel off these decals, I don't want it to peel up the paint. So after I spray painted it the flat white, I actually let it sit for two days. Um, which I don't think you have to because it says it dries in 10 minutes, but um, I didn't want it to, um, to rip up the paint. So I have a mermaid and I have some scales and some shells. And then I have the letters over here that I want to take off. So what do you guys want to see first? The mermaid. I don't know if you can see that. Scales? Okay. That was the first one to come through. So I'm going to start with a patch of scales. So on the bottom of the cup, I have... Um, kind of a row of scales um, so I'm gonna just take my pick and I'm gonna very carefully because you don't want to scratch the cup you just want to take it and see if you can get up underneath the scale I like to kind of go over the, the vinyl that I know is there and kind of just get it up and then I can take the tweezers if I get it up enough hold on I don't think I'm gonna be, have time to reveal all of this on the live but what I can do is reveal parts of it for you guys and then um, show you the final result there we go so I got a good pull on the scale so I'm gonna pull until I can get the whole scale off. Just a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna adjust this. Oh. So the light is better. My sister's going to adjust the light for you guys. So I don't know if you guys can see. There, I think that's better. Now once I epoxy this, this is gonna get a really good shine to it. I sanded it really smooth because you want it really smooth before you start. Um, yes, she is such a helper. <laughs> um, you wanna get it really smooth 
before you do your spray paint coat or it's gonna show everything under epoxy. Are there captions? I don't know how to do captions. Hold on. I think my sister's gonna have to look up. There is volume. Can everybody, I mean, I, I, we've gotten some comments, so I think people can hear. So I'm not sure about captions. This is my first live, so I don't know how to do that. So I'll just keep going. Um, my sister can probably help um, see if that's something we can do and kind of how to do it <laughs> for captions. I'm looking. Okay. I don't. Um... Oh, you okay, good. I know I was getting responses, so you know what, guys? I may have to get the sharper tweezers. My hand is not pulling these off very well today. Here, I'll just use my nails. Hold on just a second. We're going to try this. Swipe the screen left or right. That's revealing comments. Yeah. Nothing about... Oh, thank you. Um, so what we're going to do is see, um, she's going to see if she can do that while I continue because this is kind of a long process. I appreciate the comment. Um, so I'm, again, I'm just, you want to be careful not to get the paint that's actually staying on the cup. Don't damage that. but just peel your scale off and I kind of just put them to the side. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep going on this and then after I do this patch of scales, then I will um, do the mermaid because that's the second thing I saw, which is probably the most exciting reveal. So this is not what I would call the easiest process because you want to be gentle with your cup. But that's why I've got all these little tools here to try to help me. <laughs> okay, hold please. I'm going to get some sharper tweezers, see if I can get a hold of it. I have this whole set. Maybe this more surface area will help me. I have a whole set of these. And I just choose whatever is working for the moment. I think because I put so much sealer on this, it's um, taking a little bit more effort to peel it off. The sealer is the Mod Podge, um, the Mod Podge uh, Pearl Sealer. Come on, little guy. Yay. So we have a few scales. I'll do one or two more and then get to the mermaid. There we go. Get under it, I can get it. So you can see it's starting to look like scales. Yeah, I've never done a YouTube video either. Um, 
so I I wouldn't know the difference between um, the live on here and on YouTube sorry guys I really wish I could help with the um, captions Ooh. I'm gonna recap for Karen okay there we go so you guys get the idea about the scales right so somewhere in here <clears throat> There's a mermaid. I don't know if you guys can see the outline. There we go, there she is. So I'm going to start peeling the mermaid. Um, I'm gonna start with the tail of the mermaid because the hair is kind of fine up here and I wanna have a little more control when I get to that part. I don't know how else to describe it. And the vinyl that I'm using, uh, that I used for my decals, is a 631 vinyl, because I wanted to be able to peel it off easy. And I think it would peel easier, again, if I hadn't used so much spray sealer. I just, this is the first time I used the pearlized Mod Podge, and it was so pretty. You could ask my husband, last night I was, um, <laughs> dancing for joy <laughs> after I put the second coat of sealer on there because I really loved the way it looked. <laughs> this little one is, oh, she was giving me trouble in her tail here. So you can either use the tweezers or your hand, whatever really is working for you. There she is. And if you kind of peel and follow, am I too far over? If you kind of peel and follow the line of her, she'll come off a little bit easier. And then before I get to the top of her, it's gonna bug me. I'm gonna get the rest of the tail there. There's the tail. Can y'all see that? And then get her little body. Sorry, mermaid, I have to rip your arms off. <laughs> Sometimes you need scissors. <laughs> Go snip, snip a little bit. Here's her little arm. Hold on, can y'all see that? And then her little hand. <laughs> this is the most fun part of this whole process. And then there's her little hand. <clears throat> okay, now I get to her head, okay. Y'all can see her little head. Since I already have it pulled up, I'm gonna just keep gently pulling because I don't want to, I don't wanna rip the paint. That's my biggest thing is, if I pull too fast, I'm afraid the paint's gonna come off. Definitely don't pull too fast. Believe me, you've done I've it before. The paint off. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. How many coats of sealer did you do, Melissa? I did two coats of sealer. Is that a question? No, oh, you're recapping. No, I'm oh, okay. Recapping. I'm typing it up. Okay, so this is the Little Mermaid in me. I actually made her. I don't know if you can see. There's Flounder. And then down here is Sebastian, so I'm gonna do those two next. 
Oh, a little fishy. Where do I start with you? And I'm sorry, I talked to my cups. <laughs> uh, it sounds a little crazy, but you know, I think it kind of helps it along. Maybe or maybe not, who knows. Come on. He's just a little uh, silhouette of flounder. And then you can kind of see in here that I left a little bit of the vinyl. So you wanna make sure you get all of that vinyl off or it's gonna be, there you go. Or it's gonna be um, looking bad under your epoxy. And next, uh-oh. Oh, I missed his uh, little fin. There, yay, it's flounder. And then I'm gonna do Sebastian. Oh goodness. Hold on, let me make sure I do. Like, I don't want to scratch the paint on my cup because you can't fix that. Or at least I don't think you can make it look better after you've done something terrible to it. <laughs> the epoxy will hide some. some of it. Yes, only some of it. Only some of it. Come on, Sebastian. Um, I use the Illumilite. Can you hear me the bottles? I have an assistant. <laughs> oh, I use the. On. You have a partner. A partner, yes. <laughs> I use the amazing Clear Last, uh, Clear Cast Illumilite, and. Right now, I have not invested in the large ones yet. You can get them on their website, um, sometimes with a coupon code um, for the gallon size. But I don't, I just haven't. I keep using the Hobby Lobby coupons um, because I, for some reason, I had a bad batch of epoxy and after that, it, it kind of made me shell-shocked. I don't want to buy a whole, um, a whole giant gallon of it and then it be bad. I just would cry, I think. <laughs> oh, um, so let's do a shell. Y'all can still see. So I got these little shells I put on here. I thought they were pretty cute. And like I was saying, um, be careful that you don't, with this pit, cause it's very sharp, that you don't scratch your cup, either in the paint or in the epoxy area, cause you don't want to have scratches. <laughs> Make sure you don't stab yourself either. Yeah, I stabbed myself with my X-Acto knife the other day, so that was fun. I didn't bleed that much, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the shell. You like the shell? <clears throat> and then I'm gonna do the sand dollar down here. Ooh, be careful. Just take your time, that's the main thing. Um, I try not to do things in a rush because I find if I do it in a rush that I make more mistakes. Um, my sister was texting me the other day because um, I was trying to rush something and I messed it up. And she was like, well, were you rushing? <laughs> yes, I was. 
Don't over rush. And it, this stuff gets stuck to your hands too. You can get that off later. <laughs> there, I posted the recap for Karen. Um, yes, I did use alcohol inks. I have the Tim Holtz alcohol inks. Um, uh, my sister is going to grab those for you guys so you can see. I, this sand dollar is giving me a little bit of trouble. So I'm going to keep working at it while she grabs right. those inks. Here are the inks. Um, <clears throat> can you see the inks? And then what happened to my paper? To test them out, there's actually a sheet going around that is a grid that has all the um, inks. But for this cup, I used the um, Purple Twilight, the Patina, the Wild Plum, and a little bit of the Limeade. And like I said, like I have all these different colors so I can just pick whatever colors come to mine or whatever the colors the client wants. Um, meanwhile, this sand dollar is not being nice to me, guys. I may not do another sand dollar on this cup. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure you guys can see. See how this guy is giving me some trouble? There he goes. There he goes. You did the purple twilight patina while plum and warming? Yes. Yeah, this is 631, Barbara. Um, again, I think it's because I got a little overzealous on the pearl sealer. Um, <laughs> I made sure I use 631 because it'll come off a lot easier since it's not going to stay. Um, there's no need to use the 651 for this. But... Uh, Again, I think it's me and the spraying it with all that sealer. <laughs> I wanted it to be pretty. <laughs> Sometimes you have to do a little extra work. Oop. I'm good. Just gotta get under this guy. There we go. Yeah, I bet you won't be doing another sand dollar. Yeah, the sand dollars. Not that easy. So I did a shell <clears throat> on the bottom and I couldn't help myself last night. I went ahead and took that off because <laughs> I wanted to see what it would look like. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna do the shell over here. Let's do the words. Oh, you want me to or, do the words? Um, Ooh, the fork. Okay, do the fork. <laughs> <laughs> the dingle hopper. You guys, I got a dingle hopper on here. Um, I am a total geek. Sorry about that. I uh, <laughs> grew up with the Little Mermaid. I'm trying to find a view where you guys can see it. There we go. Um, there we go. So it kind of slices. And then I can use one of my little <laughs> the other one would be easier. I got that it. are your nails. Yeah, yeah. Once I get it up enough I can grab it with my fingers. Wait, where are y'all? There you are. Um Oh. 
Here we go. I think we're gonna get it. Ah! It's a dingle hopper. <laughs> so now I'm gonna work on some letters. My sister wanted to see some letters. So let's do dingle. I can't see what y'all can see right there. Now be real careful when you're doing the letters because these are kind of thin. And like I said, you don't want to scratch your cup. I know I've said that a couple of times, but I'd hate to do all of this work on this cup and then put a nick in it. <laughs> It's a D, everyone. <laughs> okay, here's a little tiny dot for an eye here. Really little tiny dot. I'm gonna have to turn it away from the camera so I can see it and not scratch my cup. Hold on. Come on. Come on, little eye. <laughs> Okay, so this is where you might need your glasses. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Clarissa, can you write down what uh, yeah. epoxy is? So you may need your glasses to get some of these, ah, I got it, tiny little details. Um, but that's okay. <laughs> like I said, I have multiples of this. This these letters seem to like these uh smaller tweezers. Um I think maybe because there's a little more control. Um Peeling it off, you can see. Here we go. Now it would be really nice if I could carry it through, but it's not wanting to come off as easy as it normally does. Oh, Melissa. The pattern. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The pattern. So that's complicated to describe, but I will try my best. Where's that tool you used? There's this little dobby thingy and um, they, Tim Holt sells one that's really cool. It's got these on the bottom and it's like a wood handle on top. The day I went to buy mine, they didn't have that one. They were all sold out. So I found this on clearance at Joann's and I can just buy the replacement for the Tim Holtz ones will work just as well. It's a foam applicator. So you kind of take your alcohol ink and then I spray with alcohol the top of the foam applicator and you know, just spray it a couple of times. And then I drop in the alcohol inks um, kind of in a pattern. I threw the ones away I used for this cup because they were totally destroyed by the time I was done with them. Um, but if you want multiple colors, you kind of just put it in a pattern inside the foam applicator. And then I daub it down on a sheet of paper to see what the pattern looks like because 
heaven forbid I put it on my cup and it's terrible. Um, so I do that and then to get it to kind of blend in, I spray it with alcohol ink as I go the actual cup so that it kind of all blends in together. And you can do layering, which is what I did on this one. These last, these were last, these little blue dots. I just wanted a little more blue in it. And so I did put a foam applicator with just some blue um, watered down. If you can see, it's kind of watered down. I sprayed it really good with the alcohol. And um, it kind of, I don't know, it kind of made it look like drops of rain, maybe is how I would describe it. And it's really vibrant before you put on your um, pearlized sealer. So this is makes it kind of muted, the pearlized sealer. If you want it bright and vibrant, that's okay too. And you can just epoxy it like that. Hopefully that's a good enough explanation. It's, I don't even know what they're called. I think they're just called foam applicators and they like come in a pack of like 20 and you can, it's Velcro. You just, and then they're disposable because again, I had destroyed the ones I used on this cup. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm gonna keep going with the letters. And after I take all of these um, decals off, I will then epoxy the final coat of epoxy over it. And so the whole thing will have your shiny epoxy look. <clears throat> so again just take your time um, go slow it can be frustrating that it takes a while but I'd rather take my time than to make a mistake that I can't correct Ooh, like I almost just did and light really helps in this situation because can't <laughs> your Vinyl is painted all over, so make sure you have a good light source um, to get all of these peeled off. So I'm going to finish this word and um, then what I'll do is I'll probably try to finish peeling all these off um, tonight. I have no idea what time it is, but uh, I'll probably try to finish this peeling these all off tonight. And I will post a picture um, or a video. I can do a video of what it looks like prior to epoxy. Actually, let's do this pretty shell too. And then um, I'll show you guys the finished product prior to epoxy. And then I can even come back after I epoxy it and uh, do a video for you guys. Um, not, a, not a live video, I, unless you guys really want that with the epoxy. Um, like I said, this is my first live, so I don't know what kind of lives you guys are looking for.
And this one says, um, I don't know if you can see it. When it's all revealed, it'll say, Dingle Hopper Hair Don't Care. And again, I'm a huge Disney and Little Mermaid fan, so that's what this one wanted to be. <laughs> all the ones I've made for myself <laughs> are all Disney or Harry Potter actually or Star Wars I don't know I love everything Because these shells, I just think they're super pretty. Um, we do have an Etsy store. We just kind of dabbled in opening an Etsy store. I haven't, or we haven't really set it up um, it's, it's actually, that's not true. It's up and running. You can, <laughs> you could buy something on there if you want, but we're actually going to separate out the, um, the specialty like these. Um, cause these, again, they take more time and love, um, to do. And so, um, they're kind of a little bit more expensive than just your basic glitter tumbler. Um, hold on, let me get Olaf. So, this guy, um, he's also mine. Um, but <laughs> he's going to be a little less time consuming to make than your glitter, uh, what mermaid geode, that's what we call these. So, um, we're going to get those all separated out. It's Weird Sisters Design Co. Or is it company on Etsy? I think you did Co. Co. Okay, Weird Sisters Design Co. Because, again, my sister's here with me. Um, we do this together. Not all the time. I mean, she does she does cups at her house. <laughs> but we do the business together. <laughs> so this is kind of where I'm at so far. Um, it is kind of a long process, so I'm not going to do them all um, live. But I will, like I said, once I get them all taken off, I will um, post the pre-epoxy video for you. And then um, somebody was saying they wanted uh, me to do an epoxy video um, for this. Again, this is my first live, so if I can figure out how to set up an epoxy video, um, I just do mine kind of here at my workstation, and then I plug it in to my turner, which you guys can see these things. My husband um, made them. Move a lamp, yeah. yeah. I think I could do it. Um, let me figure out logistics off camera and <laughs> and um, hope you guys enjoyed um, watching the the reveal. And I will um, get back with you after I'm done. If there's no more questions, then that will be all for today. All right. Well, you guys have a fantastic evening. Bye-bye now.